Hello, my name is Rowana and I am the designer of the Sojourner Traveler's Notebooks, Planners, and other leather goods. And today I have a video review of the Bennu Fountain Pen that I received from Pen Chalet. You may have seen my unboxing video of this pen from a couple of weeks ago. I promised to do a review after using it a while, so here it is, a review. But before I share my thoughts on this pen, let me give you some information about it first. This pen is called the Tattoo. It comes in blue, green, gray, black, red, or yellow. This one is the yellow version. The nib is stainless steel and it is German made. It's available in fine, medium, or broad. This one is a medium nib. There are elements of tattoo body art on this pen design, and it is made of acrylic resin with a clip and ranks made of stainless steel. Each pen has 11 elements in the design, such as guns, sun, nautical star, a windrose compass, a snake skull, a swallow, there it is, roses, dice, a ribbon banner with a Bennu logo, and fire and flame. It's approximately 5.6 inches long. When posted, the length is about 6.8 inches. In diameter, it is approximately 0.6 inches wide. And the pen weighs about nine ounces. It uses a cartridge fill mechanism with a standard international cartridge. Now let me go ahead and tell you about my personal experience with this pen. First off, I am not a professional pen reviewer by any means, so I'm really not versed with the ins and outs of fountain pens, how they are made, what the different pen parts are called, the history, and things like that. I'm mostly a lay person who basically enjoys writing with fountain pens, and I own quite a few of them. But having said that, I do write a lot and use fountain pens on a daily basis. I'm pretty much never without a fountain pen nearby. Now of utmost importance to me when evaluating a pen is how comfortable the pen is in my hand and whether I will enjoy writing with it for long periods of time. And yes, aesthetics do matter. After all, it is what will make you want to try a pen in the first place. But honestly, you can have the most beautiful pen, but if it doesn't write to your liking, well, you will not end up using it for long. Now the pen wrote pretty much right out of the box. After I inserted a cartridge, I waited only a few seconds and it began to write like right away. That really impressed me because I've had fountain pens that took 15 to 20 minutes to a whole day before I could even begin using it. So as I began to write, the first thing I noticed is that it wrote very smoothly. It didn't catch or skip on the paper and it wrote evenly, meaning there weren't any irregular bleeds or blots. <laughs> is that what you call them? Anyway, that's what I call them. You know, blots are when the ink doesn't flow evenly, which can then make your writing look sloppy. And in my case, sloppier than usual. So yeah, the writing experience is really quite nice and I enjoyed writing with it for long periods of time. Now the girth of the pen is surprisingly comfortable. The width is not too thin and it's not too thick. I'm used to pens that are thinner in girth and in fine point. This pen is actually thicker and writes in a medium point, which I generally don't gravitate towards, but I have to say this one, I did not mind at all. And by the way, when writing with it, it's comfortable writing with it posted like this or not posted. Posted, it does seem a little longer than the pens I'm used to, but it is evenly weighted, meaning that it's not top heavy when posted. It feels balanced in my hand. However, due to the length, I personally prefer using it unposted. As far as aesthetics, I can really appreciate the design of it. It's very well made. Notice that the clip you see that? It's right in the middle of the sun rays and the Bennu logo sits in the center 
with a banner around it as well. It's right in the center of that clip. The tattoo elements is carved and raised and it's really quite cool looking. That being said, it is not quite the look that I would gravitate towards. Of course, that's just based on one's personal taste, but the way it writes, primo. So I hope this video has given you a better idea of what this pen is like. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, keep on documenting life as it happens. Bye-bye.